Waterfowl are one of the most common wildlife neighbors. But just like the humans living on our streets, there's always that one goose or gander who is the foulest of them all. Oh yeah, he always, he's gonna get bombarded. Look. Like the war. Just moments earlier, the person recording this video spotted a woman who dropped her bag after she was attacked by a male goose. And when a fellow neighbor sees the bag on the ground, he tries to retrieve it for her. Unfortunately, though, the goose seems to have already claimed it for himself. <laughs> and a neighborhood war ensues. While the gander has the clear aerial advantage in this battle, the human controls the ground war, neutralizing his opponent's attacks with the morning newspaper. Round one to the human. But this angry fowl isn't giving up. <laughs> Both the goose and the neighbor get in some good shots in round two, and the judges call it a draw. <laughs> After thwarting a flying attack to his head and returning the bag to his neighbor, the human is declared victorious. This gander, though, isn't just a neighborhood bully. <laughs> He's a poor sport, too. Chicago, Illinois is a dog-eat-dog -dog kind of city, and nobody knows that better than homeowner and electric engineer Matt Micah, who's called Chicago home his entire life. My neighborhood is uh, pretty population dense, very family oriented. It's a nice neighborhood. We have a lot of runners, families, nannies with kids. Unfortunately, as nice as my neighborhood here is, there's a ton of carjackings, shootings, and uh, robberies. That's why I have so many cameras. While working from his shop at home, Matt is able to keep an eye on his entire neighborhood. One thing he familiarizes himself with is his neighbor and her very large dog. Every time I went out, I was very careful. And I'm like, all right, this lady ain't gonna be able to control that dog and that dog decides to go that way. One day, while Matt is working at home, he notices in one of his camera feeds his neighbor taking her dog out for a walk and a jogger heading right towards them. The runner was 20 feet away from the dog running toward the dog, and you can clearly see that the neighbor could not control that dog. He's running toward the dog, and the dog's already bucking like a bull. Suddenly, the neighbor's dog manages to get off leash and immediately goes after the runner. That's a small girl. It doesn't, the dog weighs more than the girl does. That dog's gonna go boom and come right out and go after the person. The disorderly dog tries to bite the runner over and over. And when it becomes evident the neighbor isn't going to gain control of the dog, the runner makes a quick and desperate move. I think his decision for jumping on the fence is probably the best bet. One thing that a lot of people don't think about is that dogs do not give up unless they're incapacitated. <laughs> The outcome could have been pretty bad if he decided to take the dog on. But just because the runner's safe doesn't mean the rest of the neighborhood is. <laughs> Unable to reach the runner, the dog sets its sights on an older couple. I was sort of scared that the dog was going to go and attack the lady and the guy getting out of the car. And then after that, yet again, go after the guy that was carrying like a grocery bag. Finally, the girl you know, got him under control. And I was just like, man, I've been telling this girl forever about this dog. You know, this day was gonna come, and here it was. Matt heads outside to check on the runner, who thankfully only has a few scratches. I saw the guy and, uh, you know, told him to come down and stay in my yard and just do whatever he has to do. I basically just went back to work. A few hours later, the police showed up. After getting the full picture, the police write Matt's neighbor a ticket for having the dog off leash, and everyone goes their separate ways. Even though they all escaped the incident without serious injuries, Matt still thinks his camera footage contains a valuable lesson should a neighbor find themselves in a similar situation. It could have been completely avoided if the runner just would have paid attention. Because if he would have just slowed down, let the dog calm down, he could have walked past the dog and just kept on running. The whole situation could have been avoided. Houston, Texas. A quiet Sunday evening in the suburbs is suddenly gripped by panic. A mom can't believe what she is seeing. All these cars oh. just waiting because there is a freaking Bengal tiger. 
backbone in this yard. Neighbors are feverishly messaging each other to ask where the tiger comes from or who it belongs to. It seems to have appeared out of nowhere. And this dude needs to be careful. Holy cow. With her children locked behind doors, the woman dials 911. Then she recognizes one fearless neighbor as an off-duty sheriff's deputy. He's attempting to hold back the man-eater at gunpoint. Oh my gosh, he's gonna shoot it. He's gonna shoot it. But the tiger keeps on coming. No. No. The heck? Why is there a tiger? <laughs> Suddenly a man appears out of frame and he's attracting the tiger's attention. He's claiming to be the tiger's owner. To the neighbor's relief, the man claiming to be the tiger's owner is able to lure it into his vehicle and drive away. Police catch up with him. He reveals the animal is nine months old, named India, and being kept illegally right under neighbor's noses just two doors down from the mom who filmed this video. Oh my gosh. India is given a new home at an animal sanctuary in Murchison, Texas. Called Black Beauty Ranch, it is run by the Humane Society of the United States, which is lobbying for legislation that would prohibit big cats from being kept as pets. <laughs> it's an afternoon like any other in the sleepy coastal community of Little Egg Harbor, New Jersey. Homeowner Michael Nicastro has known many days just like it. I've lived here about seven years, and you know, it's a pretty quiet neighborhood. I'm very close with my neighbors that are right around me, and we all stick together and look out for each other. But this seemingly idyllic slice of suburbia is not without its problems. <laughs> the neighbor down the street has these three large dogs that get loose all the time. They have bitten multiple people, at least uh, three that I know of. They actually bit a kid. And the mother that tried to get him off of her child. Then they also bit a uh, fireman in the leg. Cops have been there, but they really hadn't taken the dogs away or did anything about it as far as we know. The dogs continue to be a nuisance around the neighborhood over the next year. Then one day, things take a turn for the worst. We got back from the store, we heard some screaming on the other block, and um, that's when we went around to see what was going on and seen the dogs biting a lady. Three giant pit bulls out of that. That's when the dogs came up near our house. The pit bull's irresponsible owner is nowhere in sight, and his dogs seem totally untrained. Surrounded and outnumbered, Michael swings a piece of pipe to hold them off. You know, the adrenaline was kicking in, my heart was racing, and I was uh, just doing my best to uh, keep them away from me. I've owned many dogs. Um, I love dogs. But um, these dogs were the most aggressive dogs I ever encountered in my life. I didn't want her to get bit, so I just tried to hold them off the best I could until uh, she can get in the house. I think it was only uh, 25 seconds. And at the time, the police had pulled up, and as they pulled up, the dogs turned and uh, ran that way. Law enforcement are finally able to gain control of the dogs and get everyone in the neighborhood inside to safety. The animal rescue showed up. They got him into a van and took him away. Uh, I don't know where the dogs are now, um, but the owner had just received a sentence of 30 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. In total, five people in the neighborhood were bitten that day. But thanks to Michael's actions, there wasn't a sixth. My immediate neighbors, we all get along, we're like family. Um, we are always together all weekend long. A lot of people are saying I was basically a hero, but I don't look at it like that. We always watch out for each other. It's the middle of the night in Bay City, Michigan, where the neighbors have called police on a drunk woman causing a ruckus in her neighborhood and for doing much worse. 
Hi. What's going on? Are I do some little kitten dog in there. Why? Yeah, I just, I just want to be by myself. You threw the kitten? I ain't throwing my gently to them down this little box out there. Why would you do that? Because I live here. Oh, you don't want them? The woman does appear to be intoxicated and is admitting to what the neighbors said when they called 911, that she was throwing kittens out of her window. I don't know. Someone please. called us and said that you were I throwing kittens. I they did. No, 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 ma'am. Hey. hey. Talk to us. Talk to us. I don't know. I am. What's going on? What's the problem? What's the problem? I'm drunk at home? No. The suspect provides few answers, so the officer finds some neighbors to get a clearer picture. Who can give me some information? Because I'm not getting a whole lot. While the other officer tries to calm the inebriated suspect. You bitch. Hey. Her. Just calm down, all right? Okay, this is what happened. She got mad. I don't know what the whole story, but yeah. she got mad, okay? okay? She started whipping the kittens, okay? Whipping them, throwing them? Yeah, just yeah, like just... you know how you throw a yeah. baseball. Okay. Like okay. that. Just come over here, Lacey. No, I'm digging this. I didn't do She grabbed the mom and just mm -hmm. walked across the street. No, we're hey, fine right here. Hide. I'm a stripper. Okay. You gonna see my double D? Cause I'm at home. I ain't did. Okay. My friend and his boys. He told his boys to go get a box and put them in there. Okay. The officer makes her way to some kids across the street who have gathered the kittens and put them in a box for safety. Hi, kiddos. What's going on? Nothing. Making friends with the cats. Tyler. They need their mom. Yeah, their mom ran off in the bushes. Oh, these little guys are too young. They need their mommy. With statements from multiple neighbors, the officers place the woman under arrest. Lacey, stand up. What, you're arrested? Yeah, no. put your hands behind your back. Right now, you're under arrest for animal cruelty. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Leaving them with one last incredibly important job. Hi, Mama. Reuniting Mama Cat with her kittens. 34-year-old Lacey Williams pleads guilty to abandonment or cruelty to animals and drunk or disorderly conduct in public. She is sentenced to 15 months probation and ordered not to own animals in the future. But this story does have a happy ending. The mother cat and her kittens are taken by city animal control and all quickly adopted into loving homes where they don't have to fear being thrown out of a window. <laughs> Bel Air, California is known for being one of the fanciest parts of LA, and its many mansions and large plots of land serve as an ideal way to have some privacy from neighbors. Enough privacy for midday skinny dipping in a secluded backyard pool. The only problem? This naked man doesn't live at this house. He's a total stranger. Now inside the house, the naked intruder moves from room to room, at one point, even commandeering a pair of shoes. Luckily, the homeowner is out, but she's been alerted to the man's presence via the security app on her phone. Shocked and scared, she immediately calls her husband, and he's upstairs. Don't, 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 don't. Inside the house. Inside the house. Outside of the camera. On the driveway, where? Where, 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 The homeowner checks outside for any signs of trouble. But little does he know, the trouble is about to find him. Concerned that the intruder may attack him, the homeowner takes off by climbing over his bedroom balcony and onto his car. He leaves the property and dials 911. The naked intruder is still at the house when police arrive. In a shocking twist, they discovered that he killed two of the family's pet birds. He is identified as a 34-year-old homeless man living on the streets nearby. He is charged with four felony counts one count of first-degree residential burglary with a person present, vandalism, and two counts of cruelty to an animal. He is still awaiting trial. Uh. 
Los Angeles, California. It's the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, and like many Americans, Derek Downey is stuck at home. Luckily, he has a back porch where he can relax and connect with nature. I live close to the woods. There's a lot of wildlife surrounding my neighborhood. So he decides to connect with a different kind of neighbor. I have two neighbors. Their names are Richard and Maxine, and they just happen to be squirrels. Richard, there you go. Wash it down with some water. But like any neighborhood relationship, this nutty friendship doesn't develop overnight. I got to go get you some food. How are you? With Richard, I saw this squirrel looking at me. I was like, what's up, buddy? I had some nuts. He grabbed my hand and took the nuts out of my hand. And from there, that's how the trust was built with a few nuts and a conversation. You doing good today? I know it's a little cloudy. But Maxine isn't so quick to trust her human neighbor. I know we're not that familiar, but listen, you can trust me on this. Come and get the nut. I had to sit down and have that conversation like, hey, it's OK. I'm not going to hurt you. You got trust issues? Who hurt you? I won't hurt you. It took a few weeks, but she eventually came around. There we go. I told you I ain't here to hurt you. Before long, Derek and his squirrely neighbors are spending every day together. And in a show of neighborly goodwill, Derek decides to surprise his new neighbors with their very own house. He up in there like, oh, what is this? I got a fridge, a stove, a sink. Oh, Derek went all out for me. Richard and Maxine's daily hijinks have amassed millions of views and more than 800,000 followers on social media. To anyone who thinks this neighborly relationship is on the squirrely side, Derek thinks differently. Richard and Maxine are just like human neighbors. They come together and sometimes they have arguments. Just stop, 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 stop. Mm -mm. I promise you, there's neighborhood wars and animal neighborhoods as well. And just like many neighborhoods, this one is getting bigger. All the signs are pointing to Maxine being pregnant. Am I excited to have a new neighbor? Absolutely. I can't wait to welcome the new neighbors into the neighborhood. Look right there. No, not me, I ain't got nothing. Look at the camera. Okay, let me get you something. Hold on.